Lincoln is an object of enduring fascination to Americans, both in the 19th century when he comes literally out of nowhere to become the, the crucial president in the breakup of the Union and the fighting of the Civil War. And because he's martyred, because he's assassinated, this all makes a kind of human and tragic figure that fits into our own notion of Americans as people who in invent ourselves. Lincoln is the first president that we have of, of which there are many photographs. There are certainly more photographs of him than I think that we see of maybe paintings. Um, and obviously, you know, we have the two life masks. And so I think having those masks really shows um, how he looked in 1860, how he looked in 1865. In the life mask and in the 3D representation, you can really see the strain of office and the strain of wartime office etched on his face. The 3D process is really interesting. First of all, Lincoln would have loved it. But above all, what the 3D technology does is it allows us to bridge that gap between the present and the past by recreating his face in a way that students and other people, the public, can appreciate. Having 3D content that's in a familiar, uh, on a familiar topic like Lincoln is helpful for teachers to make that connection between the frontier of you know, digital learning and what they already teach in the classroom. And then for students, the entry point is it's high engagement. They're not quite as concerned about Lincoln as they are with what, 3D? This is gonna be awesome. We start with that very simple question, what do you see? And it's from what do you see that we can springboard into a conversation about Lincoln's biography, about the history of the era, um, about Lincoln's contributions, the ability to, again, be able to hold the mask in your hand, I think only enhances their understanding of Lincoln because it makes it relevant um, and it makes it accessible. Most presidents, or if not all of them, are interested in their legacy and how they're perceived in the future. And I, I think there's no doubt in the same way that they would use, say, time-based media, computer, and film as a way of crafting um, and molding their image, that they will use 3D imagery. When we think of history, we automatically think of biography because it really, it's the people that shaped the world that we live in today. Anything, in my view, that connects us to the past, um, you know, is, is to the good. And what this allows is the wide dissemination of the life masks. Is it takes that imagery and puts it out in the public square so that people, many more people, uh, will be able to see and enjoy it and, and hopefully learn from it.